Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Um, now I'm on here today again because I wanted to work again on these um, bits that I'm doing here because I want to make a um, either a page or a, I'm going to get a, a piece of something and I'm going to put these on because these are going to be um, like ideas for putting on your slow stitching so I want to do as much as I can uh, that was one I did in the olden days there but I'm just gonna I'll just keep that there for a idea as purpose oh that's not there either but this is going in one of my books this is just a, um, a stamp and then I'm going to um, embroider a bit of it I did one once before and then I've got other things here I've also got a spider um, so if anybody doesn't like those, please don't watch when I'm making him for you. But I'm going to show you how to to do the, a few other little things here this morning, like little patches, because um, you know that's a very it's a small piece of work, and you, and you've got something in in the end, you know that you've done there. Well, I've got to put those over there. Got to cut. I've been cutting those out. So today we're going to need one ring. One ring. That's a very thick one, so I might have to see if I can find some. Only if I can. I'm, I, I was looking. I've got great big ones, and um, there's a. I've got ideas. I've got lots of ideas for what you can do and what you put on there, but I just have to find the things that I'm going to use to do it with. I imagine I could use that. That might be a little bit. Um, tricky though because it's a bit small so my, maybe I'll go with the bigger one it's not heavy or anything so maybe I'll use that today and we're going to make a thing <laughs> to put on there because I don't know whether it's sort of if it's got a um, one of these days I might do them cufflinks put a little embroidery on them one of these days you know one of these days okay so um, and I need a I need a button that's going to go in there, but that's too big because I'm I'm needing something that's going to fit in there and and still have something edge around the outside. So well, I've got the biggest bowl of buttons he ever did see, and I really don't think I want to. Um, I might use that one. Look at that because see, you've got a little bit of edge around there now. Okay. Um, yeah, let me see. Uh, I like to say hello to everybody out there that's leaving me comments. And if only I had a good memory, I could uh, say your names. <laughs> a lovely lady who watches me with her puppy. He likes to sit there and watch me, she said. <laughs> that's cool. That's so exciting. He likes to sit there and watch what I do. So, of a morning, so that's very nice. Uh, I've got such a lovely lot of subscribers. Now I'm gonna I'm supposed to be doing a circle here, people. <laughs> well, it doesn't really matter, but you know, that's the best way to do this is if you've got a circle. It is, and I don't think I've made it big enough because I'm not thinking about how maybe that's that's right. It's not actually circle, but it's circle ish. Okay. If that's a word, it's a circle ish thing. Now I need some thread and a needle. I've got stuff everywhere here, but how many things am I working on at the time? Okay. Oh look, I've got a crazy piece. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. But anyway, right. I'll put it back here a bit with I where I'm. It'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? Okay. So here we go. It's Father's Day today here in Australia. As so far, our children haven't told to ring their father. Yet, so I don't know. Probably in bed still. You know, one worked last night at four o'clock this morning. I don't know what, don't know what the other one is, but anyway, I'm sure they'll acknowledge him later on sometime. I hope. One's coming for lunch today, so that'll be good. You were doing something, and I said, "Girl's not here helping you." <laughs> he said, "Yeah, sure." <laughs> okay, that's not nice, I know, but. I know, they've got their own lives and they've got to do their own thing and, you know, that's how it is, I suppose, but um, it's, it's all good. Mm. 
yeah, when I come out, I want to come out of the other back side there, so I can. Now I'm just, I've just made a thing around this sort of thing, and I'm going to put this in there. Okay, that's what we're going to do. We're going to cover this with the calico, and it turned out pretty good. Look, it worked all right, didn't it? Look at that. Now I'm going to put a a bit of um. I'll go around here and just gather this up, so it'll be nice. I don't want it to be too not nice, you know. It's a strange thing to say, I know, but I, oh, my words muddled up this morning. I I feel like when I get out of bed and I'm so tired, I feel like it's not good, is it, when you get up and you feel tired, you know. It must be hard work, that sleeping thing. But I'm really thinking that the weather's going to make me feel better because I did there for a while last week. I felt really good because the weather was a lot better. The sun's shining out there today, a blue, blue sky. It's supposed to be going to be a lot warmer. And it got cold last night. Usually we don't get too... Well, if the sun shines on the house, it'll go around to the side where our bedroom is of an afternoon. And there's, it's, of course there's bricks. The bricks can hold the heat, you know, and then it's not so cold when you go to bed of a night time and you can, you can sort of keep reasonably warm most of the night but last night we had to get Jeremy had to get another blanket on because it was a bit freezing and this morning I felt freezing but it was only six, six degrees I think so now we're going to uh, end that off right like that I don't know where my box of little circles is it's got is it here or in the other room I have to keep track of everything but I just sometimes can't do that this is quite easy to make and it's a good um, little embellishment if you want to do oh there they are look at that they're fair in front of me here look at this uh, things are going to slip down look at that there we go look at that there and that's going to go on the back see in a minute because you're sort of still making a button sort of thing okay now um Around the outside, I will put the pink. That'll look cool, won't it? And then I've got the but. It's a shame the button's not a different colour. It's, it's pretty... It's okay. I'll have the pink. We'll have the pink, eh? Yeah. A box of cotton is sitting here somewhere. I know it is. Jeremy brought, brought it in for me, but I... I like to use these pearl ones, as you know. Hope everybody's having a good day. Now yeah, we're going to come up through the back and we're going to do a, have a guess what stitch. I bet, you don't. <laughs> I bet you can, I bet you can guess. We're going to do a blanket stitch around here. So you're going to go up from, from the back and up the top. Go back down in behind, around there. All right. Make sure that you keep that there, that bit. Okay, go down in there, and up around through here, right here, and hopefully, we didn't do it too tight, the, this, but you have to have it a little bit taut, so you don't want it to be loose either, so, um, this could make an interesting flower centre too, I imagine, I don't know. We must get our little little piece of material out to put it on to, so we can make a. Could put it all these little bits and put it on a journal cover, I suppose. I know I'm not. I'm really slack. I haven't got making to making these bags yet that I've been sewing. Now it went too far there. I'm going to go backwards and undo that because I don't want it to look like it's gone too far. Do I? I'm trying to thread it. Try to keep your stitches even. You know. I mean, they, they're not too bad. They're getting a little bit wider, but I'm not... Let's go back a bit further. You know, I'm too close together either because you can't see that. If you can put them too close together, it sort of... I don't know, just takes away from the design of the stitch, I suppose. Doesn't it? <sighs> okay. Down in there. And 
and kid shit bandy. And I haven't got my timer on. The little dog doesn't like when I use the timer. Can it be really already half past ten? My goodness me. When that gets round there to the night, it doesn't like me when the click and the noise of the time, and I don't blame him because I don't like it either. So I don't blame the little pup for that. I don't like that noise. Oh, there's some people here. They t we, our, we are not allowed to have fireworks. They're banned in Australia. I suppose it's all in Australia. New South Wales it is anyway, I know that. Maybe, you know, that you're not supposed to use them unless you have the licence to do it, you know. And for some reason, just lately, everybody seems to be letting off fireworks, scares the dog to pieces, it does. The animals don't understand. They can hear things a lot louder than what we can. And they don't understand what's going on. And the cat's there looking at you and, you know, it's just not good. Um, because we can't f stop it. <laughs> it's not something we can help them with. The poor dog gets all frightened. She doesn't. And it doesn't matter even if she is about 11 or 12 years old, she still doesn't understand what it's all about, does she? She's not, not used to it. They never get used to it, I don't believe, anyway. Hopefully I can get this done for you. Now, while I've been... Ouch! Put that through my finger. While I've been working on this, I've figured out a few other things. I've been... I, the ideas are just there, you know, so I can... Show you a couple other ways of doing using these too. Now these little rings are just from I don't know, might be curtain rings. They could be for anything really. Maybe this one come off a piece of jewellery because sometimes you'll find jewellery's got some big rings on them, eh? So these might be some of that, eh? So come on. Just running straight out of thread here, aren't I? Running out of thread. One, one more, and then fix up the end part. So to do that, you just want to go through under there, right where you started out, and you got it all caught up. So you take this bit around the back. Because only because I've run out of thread. Because we can do another row or two around there anyway if you want to do that. How I showed just before. So you got that there. All right. A whirl thing. Okay. Now. I think I might see if I can find a different button. Put it in the middle. Some little colour or something. It looks pretty, doesn't it? I like that. I hope you got one. It's a shame it's that big. I was not gonna. You still want to be able to see though what's going on around it, don't you? There's a purple one if you want to be really. Uh, oh, that's nice. I like that. I do like that one. But anyway, we're just going to do a little bit more around the edge of that first. Before I put this back up here, Sonia. I scratched them all out, but I can I'll put them back in a minute. More thread. I don't know whether I've made one like this before. Um, I was going to show you in a minute. Well, it's going to be easy what we're going to do on this because we've showed we've showed you how to do this before in the flowers, eh? I have. I don't know why I'm talking and saying we for. It's only me. So we're just going to go into the edge of it. There. Yeah. And I'm going to do two stitches. And this one I'll do two stitches. Okay. Now, if you... Um, crochet you could do that this you could crochet around this 
instead of doing this, the needle thing, but the needle thing works just as good. Okay, and I think that looks really cool. Two, two in each one. If you too excited sometimes I might put three and just depends I wanted to make it look nice and even around that bit okay maybe I'll put three in because we're going around too so therefore and things it just gets a bit bigger doesn't it and plus you can also do some um, if you want to make some petal things on it you can do that with this by just adding a few more um, Stitches to it. I'm just going to hold me work up and so it can't show you this how it unravels if you hold it over there and just let the needle down, it'll unravel it for you because it does get a bit raveled up, doesn't it? Right, oh. Now, I think I might like this done on a little ring too. I think I'm, I think I'm thinking about that because I think it'll make it really pretty. Just a couple of smaller ones and you can use them for embellishments on anything. Um, it's all been made by you, you see. Isn't that snazzy? I think that's snazzy. Now, as you're going, you can you can feel you can see if you got if you're putting on too many, it'll start to get a bit baggy. And you just want the right amount so it'll sit nice. Or if you're too tight, well, you'll know that you'll be able to see that too, that you've pulled it over, you've got too many on it. So I'm doing at least two in each one of these. Okay. Now you can, you don't have to use a ring, but the idea of that was, is it's, I want to, the, it goes down in the centre. Pretty much, you know, you know, when I stitch that on, it'll be pushed down into the middle of it. This is all curling up really bad because it's, uh, you know, because you're going round and round and do the same thing here. It's making it all curly. It's okay. I can unravel it here in a minute. I'll just drop it down again. Push it cotton. So it just unravels there. Make sure I put enough stitches. Okay. So I might have told you we're having silver side for lunch today. My husband's favourite. Um, what have I done there? Might have to take that undone. But it doesn't look like the rest of it. You know, you need to get away from it. <laughs> you need to fix it. Check your work all the time when you go on. Nobody wants to get right around the other side and go, oh dear, that's wrong. Do they? Might not have put enough in there. I could have pulled that one too tight. This back here is not, not happy with this bit. There we go. Now we can start again. That's a nice little plate. Actually, you could use it for that if you were making things for dollhouse, I suppose. <laughs> I've got so many nice things I've been working with. It's really weird. I can't, get, like I said, I still can't get the paper things going properly for me. <laughs> oh dear. I have some bits out there that I wanted to work in my journal. And I just tried to do some yesterday after I came out of here and I couldn't get it to go. I think I'll stick to the cotton and the needle, and don't you think? And the fabric, I think it might be a better idea for me. It won't stretch me out so bad. And you can make anything you want to with it. You know, you can do whatever you like with fabric. With fabric, You can too, probably with paper, but I don't know. I have not caught that properly, have I? Must be where it's joined there. Don't have your joints all at the same place. I find it's best if you spread them out a bit, you know, so then you can't see. Or well, if you've got to join on something, you put it best to join it in a different place, you know, so it doesn't actually look that obvious because sometimes it will. Okay. Okay, move that over a bit, Sonia. I'm 
I doing wrong here? Oh, there, here. I just tipped down. It was just turned under a bit. There was nothing wrong. I don't know why I'm panicking there. So you can do this around as many times as you like. You could go around this button. Circle, button, circle. There you go. Looks cool, doesn't it? Come on, get in there. Might just imagine to have enough um, thread to <coughs> curl up a fair bit as you're going. It's all right. Nobody panic. Now I should have showed you more things to do with it, but I will. I should have had them made, but you know what I'm like. I come in here and I think, oh no, I better, better get you on here with me, otherwise <laughs> you're taking up too much time. I get anything done if I'm just fiddling around doing it myself. Now there you go. That bit there doesn't want to stay to the top. I don't know why. So just playing the fool with me. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Look at that. That's nice. And you can go back around, like I said, as many times as you want. I don't want to do any more today because I'll do it. Maybe I'll do it. I'd probably go around a bit more on a bigger, a smaller one, but not this, not this size because this will. Um, it doesn't need it to be too big. Yeah, what a piece of fabric here that I'm gonna use to put it onto. Now this doesn't have to be any particular size, I'm just going to cut this off here and then I'll be able to put whatever I want to do on this piece, aren't I? There we go, I'll get them done. This will be my next piece of slow stitching, my next square sort of thing, you know, as opposed to the <laughs> these, see? You get me? You understand now what I'm doing? Alright, isn't that going to look cool? Love it. Okay. Now we're going to put the um, the button in the centre, and I think that'll look cool, don't you? That's a nice piece. Oh dear, I just might have enough here to put that button on. I might just have enough here for it. I haven't, haven't got one with four holes. I suppose two will do. I think that'll look good. Well, I'll put the light colour. Uh huh. I might go with the light colour today. I might just use that. Eh? I think I might. It might be just what, I'll, what I'm looking for. And so you just come up through the back and we just stitch this on. And then we've got one of those. Okay. Uh, embellishment for you, slow stitching. Whoops, I'm going to take, I'm going to sew it on there too now. I am. Which way are we? <laughs> Put that on the piece of work, just take it straight through to the back. And then I can still sew it on by coming up through the back and in the button. I didn't put the little piece of felt on the back. You don't have to do that if you're going to be using it on something pretty much straight away. You don't have to do that. Now, Sonia hasn't got that quite in the middle, but it's, it's probably supposed to look like that. <laughs> okay, I'm just what I'm saying anyway. Okay. Oh, Now, <clears throat> what else? <clears throat> So we we can put on now. Oh, I do like that. Fix these little bits up. Would have been better if it was in the middle, but anyway. I've got some press studs. I've got some press studs. I've got a lot of press studs. I'm going to put some press studs on. Um, I call them press studs. These are called snap fasteners. <laughs> I wonder why we call them press studs for. We do. They press on. Okay. 
<laughs> uh, I don't know about that. I'm not quite sure. Anyway, so I guess I can use these. I know when I got some before. These are really old, so that's good. Because I know when I got some before, they were they went a bit tarnished when I used them. I thought that's not good, and they were only newish, sort of, you know. So I wasn't very happy with that. I tell you, we need three. Okay. I have three of those, and I'm going to use which ones? That way, them ones, eh? Just use three of them down there like that. Now, put a bit of string on, a bit of thread, I should say. A bit of thread. Can't see that. Oh, no, where's my box of thread? I think I might go with something like a yellow or an orange colour or something, eh? I did want some more stuff, some more of them yesterday. Two when I bought that I got. <clears throat> yep, like that. Audio. Fred this up. see there's holes in here, see? Four of them at the back of there. So you can use them to sew it on. Needle's too big. I won't go through the hole. Is that a thing, really? It is too. It does. you just got to get it through on the right, <laughs> the right angle because this thing's sort of oval is shape. It's an oval shape. So you want to put it through there. I got oh dear! After all that, I went too far, didn't I? Okay. No, let's not do that like that. Won't put I put that there for? Why don't I take that away? I've got a bit of ribbon here. A bit of ribbon. I think I might use. Leave that there, Sonia. Um, a bit of something with a bit of um, rough edge sort of on it, I want. Straggy bit, straggy bit, straggly bit. Maybe a minute, I'm just looking for the thing, for the right thing. Actually, it could be a bit of this thing. That might be the thing. I would use this. I don't know. I'm going to use this. And I'm going to put them put them on here first. Am I? To give them some sort of... I don't know, ground them a bit. I suppose on that. Should I do a different colour? Gee, Sonia. <laughs> And make things much hard for yourself, do you? But maybe I should do a different colour. That's the problem. Okay. Aha, uh -huh. now we're going to do this. We're going to put them along here. That'll be better, won't it? Whoops, daisy. Plus we have these little numbers which I really like, so we can put some of those on as well. Well, I put this on, yes, I can do it with the yellow, because then I can do some slow stitching on this piece once it goes onto the... Now yeah, I've got to make sure, where's the other hole? There. Right there. I've only got that on here. Got it. I got it? I got it. By Jove. I've got it. So, good little embellishment idea, this one, I think. For some reason, oh yeah, I've got it to go through. It's not very happy with me though, is it? It's my do. Anyway. Pretty cool. Yep, I like it. 
in another one. And we'll just put them in a bit of a weird way or some <laughs> different direction. Now we're going to have to make sure that we don't pull that up. So we get another stitch on and then it should be right. Oops. They look cool, don't they? Hang on, whoop. I really panic, we're not going to make it too. Okay, so I'm doing okay for time, that's all good. Definitely will be showing you a bit more though because I've got. I'll find another ring or two and I should be right. There you go, look at that, that's pretty cool, isn't it, Bronya? This is going to be a big slow stitch piece, but this one I might not need to add. Um, I might just cut a tiny bit off it. Hang on, cut that off, be a good idea. Might just cut a bit off the end there. And leave that bit there, I like that. I'm going to leave all of that aim. I'm going to put it there. Right, oh. Doesn't have to make sense. It's just absolutely fun. Now I can just get some thread and stitch that. Why am I going for the orange? I don't know. I am. Give us a look at it. Give me a look. Yeah. I'll stitch it on in this. And then we can, this is maybe a sampler, what do you reckon? I'm making a thing like, like a sampler for, for your slow stitching. Piece of fluff in that. Gee, this is long, Sonia, you don't want all that. You can get it all cobbled up and it won't be nice. It won't be fun at all. Huh? Right. So what I'll be doing with this um, piece, like this, where this is, I'll, I'll come. I'll be putting it onto the background, of course. Remember this big knot. I always make them joint knots, and then we're going to like stitch across here, and in, and. Other ways around it as well. Yeah, we'll come across here a few times, all right. Um, I've got one of my pieces here that I was going to show you because there's a bit I'm going to do. This is fun, isn't it? It's just like playing. <laughs> well, maybe not more fun than playing. <laughs> when I say playing, well, I used to like playing with the kids, the dolls, <laughs> playing the dolls with the girls. And then we used to have a... My husband dug a little hole out the back and put a tin in it, and we used to go out there and play a little mini golf. And uh, that was fun. <laughs> lay on the ground and look at the clouds and that was fun. That's let's, let's play. <laughs> but this is better when you when you get a bit older. I suppose I don't mind doing a bit of mini golf though too. Anytime. I like playing Scrabble with one of my daughters. The eldest, the youngest one and I'll play Uno with the eldest one. I used to play a lot of different board games and I still have a whole heap. But um, me and Ellie, a bit, we like to challenge one another, do a game of Scrabble sometimes. <laughs> I don't think we've played since Christmas last year because I haven't seen it that much. Yeah, so 
But anyway, so this is what we do now. So this is how we're going to put it on here, right? Sounds like my phone's ringing. I hope my husband's out there. He got it. Good. It'll be for him, I hope. <laughs> I was Peggy asking me what time she's lunch, but she can come whenever she wants to. Here we go, look, and if I keep I might not go too far up there. I'll do I'll go across here and I'll end this off and then I'll I can show you it put on later on we do a bit more, okay? But if we do some stitches going that way as well. But we need to add a bit, a few more different embellishments on here, don't we? I'm going to put on now some a, fl a flower, but it's going to be a cut out flower because I I think they look good um, on this one here that I did. See, I put those flowers in there, that one there. I've cut that out, a, fuss, a fussy cut that and put that on there. Uh, is that the only one I put on it? Oh, then I thought I did more, but I did one. I only got one fussy cut one. But that's a, one of my first slow stitches that I did. Well, in that style, so that sort of thing. Um, I've got this padded one. This is like, I did that with um, little squares and then I put them together by just sewing them with cross stitch. I did that um, to sew them together. They might be a little bit skew with, but I think it turned out pretty good. I don't think it turned out too bad, eh? So there's ideas on that too, but I just thought I'd um, show you that because now I want to put the, the flower on there that I did cut out earlier and it was sitting there until I just probably knocked it off the thing. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go, wait a minute. There it is. Here. See that? I like that. Now I'm going to put that on there with, um, I'm going to bring it over the top of this a bit, eh? And then, oh, there's two there. Right, so I can stitch across that, okay? Um, the other embellishment things that I would use, hang on a minute, I was back, back to the circle, with the circle idea. I might be able to make another one of those. I don't, no, I don't have time. We'll come back and we'll do a few more bits, but this here then just be stitched backwards and forwards across. So it just, um, you know, I'll have to get something a bit darker than that, that I can see. But that'll be stitched back as and forwards across there, so it'll look really cool. What if I got all these big, long bits of string on the back here? But anyway, it doesn't matter. I might make it, I might tie it up a bit. He must be talking to Ellie, I think, because Peggy wouldn't be on the phone that long as she was coming over. I don't think. There we go. Now, other things you can put on there. You can do, you put, you, oh, I love the pins. Let's do a pin. I love to put a pin on. And I haven't done that yet, have I? No. I don't like a pin. Right. Now I'm going to get some little beads on that. Let's see what I've got here. Look at this, there's some beads. Right, here we go. I did craft, well, I've sewn and done things for so many years, even when the kids, when I had the children, of course. These are here to pull undone, these two earrings, to get some beads off her. I bought those some time back, and they make some good embellishments out of um, I used to have the stuff on the table out in the lounge room and every time I had a chance I used to do stuff. I missed a lot of stories on the TV and kid, the kids would say, Mum, you ever seen that? I said, no, I didn't. You went, you were either asleep or crafting. <laughs> ah, well. 
it's okay, isn't it, really? Whatever you want to do. What about the hanging down bit? No, not on this one. I want to have this one flat, I think. We're going to have some pretty colours. Why not? There's another one. Let's have a blue, blue one. Yeah, I hope you can see what I'm doing here. Um, this one. I'll probably sit here and do this all day with this, but I just don't have <laughs> the stamina <laughs> Not anymore. I, I don't know. I don't, it's not that hard to do, is it, really? Sonia, where's the pliers behind me in the cart? They are there behind me in that cart. I'm sure I don't have a pair here. I'll just spin around here a minute. It really is right behind me. Look at that. Too far for me to turn that way. Oh, my good husband has just put those things in there. I wonder if I knock on here when it will it, it matter. Will it matter for me? I'm going to make the top, squeezing the top down with the hammer. Closing it. I'm just closing the thing. I just push down on that, see, to close it so it won't come undone with my little, little hammer <laughs> that I bought. For him, but I managed to. I, you know, I didn't mean to uh, to get it. I just ended up with it. Now there we go. So we've got that. Now we can do a bit of something, something to fasten it on there. Oops, what was this thing? We don't get excited yet because there's more. Don't get too. I've got. Oh, I've got. I'll have to come back. I won't be a minute. I'll, I'll be back in a minute, and you can see it the next day. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, put a like.